Good morning. It's getting cold fast. <laughs> and it rained a lot last night and it's raining now, which is making it cool out here. I don't want to turn the heater on. I don't know how many. I've got another heavier shirt I can put on. Anyway, this is going to be a shorter, hopefully if I quit talking, <laughs> video about some of the local habitants. So you'll get to see a little bit of people and animals around here. Not really any wild ones, but anyway. Um, and then I wanted to show you a quick before picture of what Dr. or what my neighbor is doing. He's going to have a big party this weekend with about 30 local people from town, which <laughs> is practically the whole town. Um, they're going to help him build rebuild his deck and um, his party house that the tree fell on a couple years ago. So he didn't want me to stay at the cabin so that, that all these friends can stay at his cabins. So I won't get a picture of them all working, but I wanted to show you a before and after picture of what they've done. Um, I'm going to see if it's going to quit raining here in a minute and get that for you. And then I'll get this posted and We'll be talking to you again soon. My hometown lines both sides of the road with these. These are the high school graduates of this year. Poor baby, he's stuck inside, so I have to try to catch him, keep Clovis away from him, and get him back outside. Mission accomplished. There you are, baby. Are you the same one? <laughs> so anyway, I got it and caught it with my nightgown, put him outside. There are zillions of hummingbirds around here. Linda, I had to stop and get a picture of this beauty for you. Isn't she pretty? <coughs> Quit. Quit. She's not going to look up for us. growing up being a girl I always loved horses and the brown with the black mane and tail was always my favorite Bay. so this is on the dumpster bear company bear bears <laughs> bear country <laughs> bears may be dangerous do not feed the bears keep a clean camp keep food and garbage stored securely do not store food in tents do not cook near where you sleep Wash or change clothing before sleeping. If you encounter a bear, remain calm and do not run. Back away slowly and stay away from cubs. If attacked, fight back aggressively. Yeah, that's why <laughs> I didn't get any sleep last night. I know people ask me if I'm afraid living out here, but um, generally I'm not. But I'd gotten s some uh, oh, cantaloupes that were super ripe so you know what those smell like I mean super sweet and I had them in my cabin so them and some grapes that were super ripe I mean I had all this fruit in there that just smelled you could smell it and I so I was wor worried in the cabin last night that the bear would smell the 
that sweet fruit and just break right in the door. And a couple times Clovis would act strange, walk over and sniff at the door or jump up on the door or do something that he normally doesn't do. So I just didn't sleep very well. But I'm at the dumpster this morning and going to get rid of all my rinds and the rotten parts of the fruit. And I'm sure I'll be fine tonight. Everybody, <laughs> your name's Glenn, right? Glenn, yeah. Yep, there's Glenn on his shadow. You think he's okay? Yeah. You gonna whisper in your ear? You gonna sniff him? She's, Maybe. She's like, I <laughs> keep. I'll let him. I'll let him sniff my butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I won't. <laughs> well, I won't. You didn't like that, Missy? Hey. <laughs> she goes, no, I don't like that, baby. Oh, he, he's like, I don't care. Let's play. Yeah. We're wagging tails. Yeah. They, they just, <laughs> just don't get too personal back there. <laughs> I want you to wee <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like the little cabin that I am staying in, and I'm trying to redo the porch and everything for him. A lot of the things he built. 15, 20 years ago is getting rotten. It's so sad. He has so many bridges like this that are rotting out. So they'll be working on that this weekend, I think. And he pulled off this part of the deck that was getting all rotten for his little pond. So they'll be putting those back on. But then just like on the cabin, he's got all these 4 by 4s that are rotten, so I don't know how they're going to do that. He said that he was getting some cement, those little cement foundation things, so maybe they won't need that rotten piece there. I don't know. He says he put this on about last year, so he thinks it's okay. They're going to put another deck here that he tore off. And then, <coughs> so this is the party house the tree fell on. That they're going to rebuild. He thinks that they might, well there's already a roof up there, so they're going to try to get the floor on. This totem pole his grandson's going to repaint for him, um, so they probably won't get it back up this weekend, but they'll get it back up over by the lake. This is the other half of the party house that's still standing, and there was a tree like that that was kind of built, <laughs> grew up around the party house that this side got blown down. They've put a new roof up there and they're gonna try to get the floor in here. So that'll be, that'll be nice to see. I'll let you see what they did when I come back. I'm gonna come back here on the third. That's payday. So I'll come back on the third and I'll show you what they've done. There's a nice, oops. I like this Indian guy he's got. Super cool. Okay, so that's a wrap on this cold, rainy day. Um, I was going to try to catch things up today and leave in the morning back to the Mesa because I got some things I got to catch up there. And I was going to put out a short video of summer on the Mesa with the bus. But I'll put this one on first. And um, so just remember to like and share and comment. And subscribe. Push the little notification button. And I will get back with you again soon. 
And always remember, I love you.